What is it? Nothing. Nothing. Amanda, I just asked you what happened between you and Evan, and you shot across the room like you'd been prodded by a hot poker. Did you hear, Allie? I just... No. She's with your grandmother, and she's fine. I just felt guilty about leaving her, you know, and Did I... you sleep with him? Is that why you left town? This is something you thought of, right? This is, this is your sick idea of a joke. You have the number of the cartel? Ask them yourself. They want me to kill Michael Hudson. Right. Right, right. Why now, and why did they tell you and not me? Because you want out of the deal. So? So they want some sort of proof that you are not going to join forces with Mr. Hudson and the club. They have proof. They have my word. They don't have much faith in that anymore, Lucas. So you tell them. You call them. You're so friendly with them. You call them. And you tell them that I'm not killing Michael Hudson or anybody else. Knowing you as I do, I mention that fact to them. Yeah. And what did they say? That they would find a way to convince you. Sure, I'll call you if there's any trouble, but I wouldn't worry about it. Rachel's a pretty capable person. Mitch, what are you doing here? Well, actually, I was on my way out. I just had some business with, uh... I'm sorry, I didn't get your name. What kind of business? Ken Jordan. Ken Jordan? That's what he said. Have we met before? I have a terrible memory about things like that. Uh, no, no. No, it's not that. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. The question is, are you? Excuse us, please. And, sure. and no, no, wait a minute. What's the problem? There's no problem. How long have you had this place? A long time. How long? Mitch! Look, I just would like to make sure you're in good hands, all right? I'm in my own hands. That's all that should concern you. You can't come here and cross-examine everybody I meet. There's something about your name. It's a pretty common name. Maybe. Okay, if you're not going to leave, I am. Hey, Rachel. It doesn't bother me. Well, it does me. What are you doing? What's the matter with you? You're lucky to have people that care so much about Would you. Would you just let me talk to him, okay? Sure. Anything you want to know, anytime, just ask. Rachel, if you're going to work in this place, if you're going to live over this Why place, don't you Why are you doing this to me? You stay right there, young man, and you finish your dinner. I'll be right back. Oh, oh. oh, hi. <laughs> Stop it. Something tells me Angela has the night off. Come in. I'm much too generous with her. Oh, this is so much work. What are you doing? Oh. You have tomato sauce on your nose. It's not bad. Oh. I made exactly what Angela makes for little Michael, and he won't touch a bite of it. Where is he? He's in the kitchen. I told him he had to stay in there until he finished eating his tortellini. You want me I should lean on the kid? Oh, no, 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 no. He's been a little beast ever since I got home, but it's not his fault. Has something happened? Something didn't happen. Michael was supposed to come over and pick him up today, and he just didn't show up. Yeah. Darling, he had his little suitcase all packed. He was so excited. I'm sorry. He's probably just doing it to punish me. We had a fight this afternoon. But the complete lack of consideration for his little boy. Just, oof. I'll be right back. I'm going to go check on him. She looks cute in that little outfit. He says he'll only eat if I stay out here. <laughs> You're gonna have your hands full with that little man. Oh, it's all right. 
I've gotten to know him in a whole different way since Michael left. I thought you said you were going to work late tonight. Well, I thought you said you were going to give me a call and tell me how your meeting with Lucas went. Oh, very well. He said he was going to give us his business. Good for you. Mm-hmm. That's why Michael and I had a fight, because he saw me with, with Lucas at top. So why did he get in a fight? Because he's patronizing. He always has been. I just never saw it before. I'll tell you something. Why don't you lay down and rest, and uh, I'll deal with Mikey. Well, that sounds lovely, but I can't let you do that. Of course you can. You spent the whole day schmoozing with Lucas. You're going to make me a very rich man. The least I can do is push some tortellini on Mikey. I promise I will not say that you owe me one. You promise? Well, unless I want something. You better run this by me again. You mean Lucas is tied to the biggest supplier of cocaine in the world? The cartel is one of its branches. What do they need stolen art for? It didn't used to be stolen art. Lucas used to receive big chunks of profit money, and he used that to buy art. Oh, so he launders money. Right. But his contact decided to go off on his own. He needed startup money. And this contact got in touch with his old buddy Lucas, huh? Lucas had to start procuring the art in a whole new way. I just don't understand. I mean, Lucas and cocaine. I mean, how can he live with himself? Maybe he tells himself he isn't directly involved. Oh, come on, Ariane. Well, he doesn't steal the art himself. And the money he receives is deposited into a Swiss bank account. As far as we know, he never touches it. <laughs> well, then why in the hell does he do it? We don't know why he does it. But we do know that the only person capable of proving that he does it is you. <laughs> I find that a little hard to believe. Michael, he's intrigued by you. He doesn't trust me. Oh, he will. Why? Because we've kept him so cut off for so long that he hasn't been able to deliver the goods in a long time. And his contact is getting desperate. I want to tell Donna what's going on. Michael. No, I want to tell her. Look, I caught her with Lucas today talking to him. What? She wants to go into business with the guy. She can't. You have to stop I know him. that. I know. What do you think I called this meeting for? Look, I want to tell her everything. No. Ariane, Donna will not let me protect her. I mean, how is she going to protect herself? How is she going to protect her children if she doesn't know what's going on? Michael, we are only talking about two more weeks Wait here. What, what do you mean, two weeks? How do you get that? Because the art gala is in two weeks. And the brass has just given their go-ahead for you to set up the jewel theft. <sighs> well, not that I care about the brass, but... Uh... As long as you're still protecting Donna. We are. And in two weeks, you can tell Donna everything. Well, you know what? If you don't have Lucas nailed in two weeks, I don't care what you've got, Donna. I'm going to tell Donna. We'll have him. And until then, Donna's best protection is to be ignorant of what's going on. You better be right. Michael Hudson is on to us. Therefore, Michael Hudson must be eliminated. You must be all broken up. They didn't ask you. I know how much you like bumping people off. I do what's necessary. Well, I don't do this, not for anything. You are in the best position to handle it. This is because I want out, isn't it? I knock off Michael Hudson, the police take care of me, you take over where I left off, and the cartel gets everything it wants, right? The police will not bother you. How do you know? Did they bother me about Catherine March? Because I kept quiet, and don't you forget it. I'm not forgetting it. In fact, I intend to repay the favor. Oh, really? How? I haven't worked out all of the details, but um, perhaps an accident, maybe a robbery. And Michael Hudson is simply an innocent bystander who got in the way of a stray bullet. We could set up one of those security guards he's so fond of. But Lucas, I promise you, you won't be connected to the hit. Maybe you 
can be glib about taking a man's life, but I can't. Oh, please, spare me the ethics. The goods we turn over to them, the money that comes from it. Do you think it goes into the stock market, Lucas? No, it goes into people's veins. You may not have pulled the trigger, but you are most certainly a part of the killing. You don't have to remind me. I want out. Kill Michael Hudson, you're a free man. Well, what do you say? I tell them to shove it. If they want to kill me, they can. If you want to kill me, you can. I don't care. Lucas, I was hoping I wouldn't have to bring this up. What? The cartel has some information that could change your mind. Even if the information has to do with someone you love very much. Kick off your new year with a Pasadena Marathon, hosted by Dana Delaney. Get ready for a whole day of secrets, lies, and deception. Is McAllister? No. The Pasadena Cereal Bowl, Monday, January 2nd, starting at 11, only on SoapNet. Pizza Hut proudly presents the Pick Your Pear promotion. Just pick a pear of topic and pick a pear of topic, then pick a pear of crust. For a personally picked pear of pizzas. It's the Pick Your Pear deal at Pizza Hut. Buy two medium pizzas with up to two toppings on any one of our famous crusts for only $6.99 each. $6.99? That's puny. A pittance for pizzas piled so high. $6.99? That's a great deal. Do you think they know we're not twins? Shh. Feed a lot of family for not a lot of money with the Pick Your Pear deal at Pizza Hut. Did mom sleep with someone before marrying dad? Wow. Wow. I know. Oh, huh. somebody slipped on past the goal. You don't know that. No. Rumor has it. I'm going to need so much therapy. Rated PG-13. Now playing. We're here showing folks how a packet of Hidden Valley Ranch changes spinach dip into ranch spinach dip. I like it. Really, it's different. And changes salsa into ranch salsa. It's jazzy, pizzazzy. Hidden Valley Ranch. This changes everything. If you're between the ages of 45 and 75, stay tuned for a very important message. According to the Federal Trade Commission, a traditional funeral can cost between $6,000 and $10,000. The most your family can collect from Social Security as a death benefit, if you qualify, is just $255. Without enough life insurance, chances are your family could wind up paying for your final expenses and outstanding bills. Is that how you want your loved ones to remember you? If not, call this toll-free number today for information about Easy Way from United of Omaha Life Insurance Company, a trusted and dependable Mutual of Omaha company. Easy Way Life Insurance was specially designed to help you plan for your final expenses. And it's called Easy Way because it's easy to get. In fact, you can't be turned down. There are no health questions or medical exams. You choose the protection amount you want, up to $12,000. Equally important, Easy Way is graded benefit whole life protection to age 100. Your benefit never decreases, and your rate never increases. So if you want to leave your family with fond memories, not bills and debt, call now. Complete details will come in the mail without risk or obligation. See how easy and convenient it is to get Easy Way. Remember, you can't be turned down even if you have a health problem. So don't delay. Pick up the phone and call now. The call is free, and so is the information you'll receive from your friends at United of Omaha, a Mutual of Omaha company. If you're between the ages of 45 and 75, call 1-800-231-1036 now for no-risk, no-obligation information about Easy Way. That's 1-800-231-1036. The call is free, and so is the information. So don't delay. Call right now. That's 1-800-231-1036. Sam. We heard your voice. Oh, yeah. I thought I heard her before. Hi. Hi. Oh. Oh. We go. How she you missed doing? you, both of you. Oh. You are her family, you know. I know, Grandma. Hey, don't we have the best Grandma in the world? Hey, sweetie. And you have the best Daddy, too. I'm sorry I've been such a bad mommy. 
It would have been nice if we could have told her where you were. I was in St. Louis. St. Louis? Yes, St. Louis. Meet me in St. Louis Alley. How about it? Huh? <laughs> Listen, huh? I think I better give her some dinner. Okay. No, I Come can't on, do that. Come on, sugar lump. Amanda. Let's go. Amanda. Let's go. It's nice to have you all back together again. Come on, Chuggy. Let's raid the refrigerator. Answer my question. Sam, my feelings for you never changed. No matter what happened with Evan. Oh, boy. What? I told myself I could ask this question because I could handle what the answer was, no matter what it was. Now I'm not so sure. Sam. Did you sleep with him? No. You didn't? No. Well, then why did you say no matter what happened with Evan? I was... I was so confused, Sam. You were gone. And I was so tired, I wasn't even sure if I was myself anymore. So you didn't sleep with him? Sam, I love you. How could I ever do something like that to you? Easy for you, Evan. Well, maybe it is, because I'm so sure. I would have been ready for you five years ago. I was some greedy kid, scrapping and clawing my way to the top, ready to destroy anything that got in my way. I couldn't have loved anyone. But that's changed. We've changed. We've grown. What happened the other night, it, it wasn't unexpected. It wasn't an accident. It wasn't some drunken roll in the hay or a one night stand. It's something that's been building and it's been building and it was right. And I think you know that. Say the whole thing was just a mistake. It would make it a lot easier. Amanda. God help me, I want you. Would you just calm down? No. Look, look, you know, there are some things you don't know, believe it or not. Like what? Like, well, for one thing, how long has it been since you've been out on your own, you know? Mitch, I am not some kid who can't take care of yes, myself. Yes, and nobody knows that better than I do. What do you do. want me to do? Do you want me to just stay at home and grieve about Mac for the rest of my no, life? No, no, but there's a difference between staying at home and turning your life over to somebody you don't even know. I'm not turning my life over to anybody. I work for the man. Yes, and what do you know about him? I don't have to know anything about him. I know that this is the right thing for me. And how do you know? Because, because I feel like myself finally. Because I feel closer to Mac without all the grief. Because for the first time in a long time, I'm thinking about life instead of death. Okay. I understand that. I'm glad. But there's some things you don't understand, you know? I just think it's a good idea. If you just, oh, just Mitch, take a word of caution. We said goodbye the other day. You should have left it at that. Now, I've got work to do around here. When I come back, I don't want you to be here, okay? Right, right. You made that clear. Please, please, just stay away.
Oh, you two get everything all hashed out? There's one thing I'd like to know. Sure. How well did you know Matt Corey? It's a star pop and soap talk. Wow, you look hot. A confession from Leslie K. What did you do? No, I was freaking out. Freaked out, right? Freaking out. And an alter ego for Darren Brooks. You got this whole young Johnny Depp thing going on. I've, I've gotten that a couple of times. Have you? Watch an all new soap talk weeknights at 11 only on Soapnet. Pregnancy. It's a beautiful thing. It can also leave ugly stretch marks. Anyone can get them, but you can help prevent them. Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula for Stretch Marks. Dermatologically tested. Lean Cuisine feels more at home among certain foods because we don't use preservatives or artificial flavors. Just the finest, most delicious ingredients. No preservatives, no artificial flavors. Lean Cuisine. You're changed, man. How's that? You got off that train back there, you did two things you've never done before. At least not at the same time. You shook my hand. And then you looked me square in the eye. Where'd that come from? My daughter has asthma. And I don't have prescription drug coverage. But getting the medicine she needs is a lot easier now. With my free... Together RX Access Card. Most cardholders save 25 to 40 percent on over 275 brand name prescriptions. Plus, the card is free, with no obligations, and you can use it at most pharmacies, even right here at mine. Now my daughter has the diabetes medicines she needs, thanks to my free Together RX Access Card. I signed up over the phone. It was so fast and easy. You may be eligible to save on medications for diabetes, high blood pressure, asthma, and many more. Call now or go online to apply and start saving on the medicines you need. My family was eligible. Yours may be too. If you or a family member don't have prescription drug coverage, call now to apply for your free Together RX Access card. You may be eligible to save. Call now. Soapnet's got some real Texas-sized characters. You are a Ewing. The Boy Wonder. I am a full member of Ewing Oil. The Perfect Wife. Come home early. Mm-hmm. The Neglected Spouse. We don't make love anymore. The Son of a... I am. Yeah, I truly am. Dallas, today at 3, only on Soapnet. At 5 o'clock, will you know where your children are? I think I feel I'm the one who isn't going to graduate. The kids from Beverly Hills are showing their support. Oh, good to see you with us, my man. Peer pressure every time. For SoapNet. <laughs> Show your support for 90210 today at 5. I feel cheated, and I would love a second chance. One couple finally reveals their true feelings. I love you. I love you so much. And... I have a plan. Pine Valley's new year is starting off with a bang. Happy New Year! Am I drunk? Is she weak? Are you out of your mind? Courtesy of its resident psycho, Janet, Janet, Janet. Oh, lots more fun where this came from. Watch All My Children tonight at 8, only on SoapNet. Tonight on SoapNet, two men want her love. I think Natalie's still in love with John. Yes, but I also think she's still in love with you. Only one man can win her heart. Natalie means something to both of us. Now someone will take the lead. Maybe we could just try to start over. Watch One Life to Live, tonight at 9, only on SoapNet. You better not be talking about Felicia. Did I mention her name? Because if you even go near her, I'll get you. Oh, my, my, my. A conscientious objector has suddenly become a man of action. I don't have to kill you to get you. All I have to do is pick up that phone. You're in far too deep for a bluff like that, Lucas. Leave her alone. As a matter of fact, I wasn't even referring to Felicia Gallant. Exactly. Now, well, who then? Well, you will see. Listen, Griffin. I'm not deluding myself that I can walk away from this cartel scot-free. But not Felicia. Not her. You can walk away, Lucas. And save your precious Felicia forever. 
Just rid the world of Michael Hudson. All right, look, I gotta go. Michael. Hey, look, I, my kid, I was supposed to come up two hours ago. Michael, you're doing the right thing. Well, thank you. I'll tell my wife and my kid you said that. Mr. Hudson. Yeah. Telephone for you, sir. Oh, thank you. Do you want me to leave? Why? You probably got the line tapped anyway. Hello. Your secretary told me I could reach you here. Lucas. That matter we've been discussing? Yeah, what about it? You can count me in. We move the night of the gala. I'll be there. You won't be disappointed. I'd better not be. Well? He wants in. We got him. I knew it. This means two more weeks and this is over. And you can go back to Donna. Yeah. If she'll have me. Stay right where you are. The two of us are going out on the town and we don't want you around to weigh us down. Whoo! <clears throat> Did you eat your supper? Um, the tortellini was a no-go. Michael! But... He does want to apologize to, for you, to you for being such a pain, right? Sorry. <laughs> I know you were disappointed today, darling. At any rate, we're going to go get some pizza. Pizza? And we'll take it from there. Yep. Oh, you want to go have some pizza with Jake? Yep. Thank you. Where's his coat? It's upstairs. He put it on his bed this afternoon, right? Tell you what. Uh -huh. Mikey, why don't you go get your coat and hurry up because I'm really hungry, all right? Go, go, go. <laughs> I think I lost a pound. <laughs> Jake to the rescue once again. Well, I like the kid, you know that. Oh! Whew. Sorry. What you writing? My strategy. But for what? For getting to Lucas to woo him. I didn't know you had to write that stuff down. I just thought it came naturally to you. This is business. No, 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 no. Come on, Donna, we're partners. 50-50, let me see it. Darling, there are things that I have to do myself. Donna, can I please see what you wrote? All right. <sighs> well? This is business. Now, don't you make fun of me. A new tight dress. Don't you stop Some that. Give me that back. smells Give me really my good. That's expensive. Come here. Give me my list back. <laughs> what are you selling the guy? You don't get through to a man like Lucas by buying tickets to the ballet. Besides, it'll drive Michael crazy. I thought you said you didn't care what Michael thinks. I don't. But I've had his little tramp thrown up in my face enough times. Oh, no, don't do this. It's not up to you, Jake. You may be my friend. But you're not. What? Nothing. Donna, nobody knows this, Lucas. I don't want you making it out to him that you're something you're not. You don't want me. I don't want you. Uh, I know that we're having a period of amnesty here, so don't, don't get me wrong. I'll do my best. But why do you get to say that to me? Donna, we've been through a lot of tough times together. Mm -hmm. And instead of burying your head in the sand, you've gotten stronger and stronger. Yes, I have. I don't want that to stop. So, if Lucas or anybody laid a finger on you, I'd have to kill them. Oh! And I yeah. hear the food in prison is really bad. Come on, Mikey, I'm starving! Why would you think I knew Mac Corey? Rachel said you knew who she was. Well, sure, I knew who she was. That doesn't mean I ever met her husband. You have a big inventory. Never seen any customers. I have a few regulars. They keep me in the black. I see. Is that it? No, no, I didn't mean to put you on the spot. I guess I'm uh, curious by nature. And <laughs> yeah, Rachel doesn't seem to be too fond of that curious nature. Yeah, I noticed. It's like I told you the other night. I'm a concerned employer, that's it. 
But even if I wasn't, it's pretty obvious that Rachel's not going to get over her husband for a long, long time. Maybe you should realize that too, huh, pal? Let the lady handle this her way. I just want to make sure that she's safe. I'll see and do anything to make sure that that's the case. Hey, this is a retail shop, not a bookie joint. Just to get perfectly safe. I hope so. Watching another world. Find out who's a fighter and a lover. Dynasty is next. Only on SoapNet. Hi, Smith again. Um, about this employee of the month, Johnson guy. I think if we could find some way for you to get rid of him for me, that would be so wonderful. I would be eternally grateful to you. If you could just look into your You and Oh, no. Kellogg's Raisin Bran Crunch. With honey granola clusters, crunchy flakes, and tasty raisins. I'm gonna go do it now. Kellogg's Raisin Bran Crunch. Sounds good. Showing folks how a packet of Hidden Valley Ranch changes spinach dip into ranch spinach dip. I like it. Really, it's different. And changes salsa into ranch salsa. It's jazzy, pizzazzy. Hidden Valley Ranch. This changes everything. It's time to say goodbye to your fat pants. All three sizes of them. Curves ends yo-yo dieting with a plan that makes keeping the weight off feel just as good as losing it in the first place. The Curves six-week solution. Nutrition classes start January 9th. The power lasts forever. Forget everything you think you know about slipcovers. At SureFit, we have the slipcovers to change your look in just 10 minutes. Call right now for your free catalog and preview our newest slipcovers. Separate seat covers. Stretch PK for hard-to-fit furniture. Plus, our window treatments. It's our newest addition, and it's yours free. Don't spend a fortune replacing your furniture. Fall in love with it all over again with the best quality, easy-to-apply slipcovers from SureFit. We got this beautiful new look with our SureFit slipcovers. They're easy to put on, and they stay in place. But the best part is, they're affordable. We got two sets, so we can change our look whenever we'd like. I love my SureFit slipcover. My old couch was all wrong for my new place. My SureFit slipcover was the perfect answer. I still have my favorite couch and a whole new look. Call right now for our brand new catalog of incredible slipcovers and more. Whatever your furniture style, we have a size that fits. Sectionals, recliners, wing chairs, oversized chairs, dining room chairs, tea cushions, and futons, all priced to fit any budget. SureFit has the only patented one-piece design that makes putting on your covers as easy as one, two, three. And once they're on, they stay in place, even if you don't. At SureFit, we promise we'll change the way you look at slip covers forever. So call right now, and we'll rush you our brand new catalog filled with patterns, textures, and colors, all designed with you in mind. For your free SureFit catalog, call 1-800-516-0324. That's 1-800-516-0324. Or visit our website at www.surefit.com. That's 1-800-516-0324. Call now, 1-800-516-0324. So, what did you do while you were gone? I, um, I took a lot of walks. What did room service? I did a lot of thinking. You must have felt pretty messed up. You know, I think I had 
a total of two hours sleep. The whole 48 hours before I left. Yeah, well, that would tend to mess up your perspective, I guess. I really wasn't myself. You know, leaving like that, I never meant to hurt you. I had a lot of time to think, too. You know, before uh, I left for New York, we talked about me moving in. That seems like such a long time ago. All I've ever wanted is you, Amanda. And I know you want me too, so... Sam. I'll get that. Hey, look who's back. Look, I know you're busy. I just thought if I could see you for a minute. It's really not a good time. You know, time. it's all right. Um, you two talk. I I actually should be checking in at the office, so um, I'll be back in an hour, maybe less, okay? Okay. Make it less. Everything okay? Yeah, it's getting better. Good. So what's up? I found Ken Jordan. You're kidding. Where? I might not believe this, but he's Rachel's boss. What are you doing? Call yourself a reputable dealer and you don't ever bother to catalog anything. Pre Columbian, pre Columbian, both probably Aztec. Uh, 14th century, 13th century. Fine. And you don't need me at all, do you? Should I feed you so you won't be so cranky? I'm not cranky. You could have fooled me. I'm embarrassed. My friends and my family are turning up here and treating me like I'm some sort of a runaway. So you got a family who loves you and good friends? It's got to stop. I mean, it doesn't bother me. Besides, I don't think your friend Mitch is too easily persuaded. I'll persuade him. You known him a long time? Yep, we go way back. Friend? Why? It's just he seems very protective. And you seem to be taking it out on me. He's the father of my youngest son. He's your ex-husband. No. Oh. I'm not as conventional as I look. Who said you look conventional? He's married to my best friend now. Well, he may be, but he hasn't forgotten about you. I depended on him too much. After Mac died, we grew close again, and that's one of the reasons why I felt it was wise to leave Bay City for a while. Now, Mitch doesn't seem to think it was so wise. Well, it was for all of us. It's good to have a good friend when times get tough. Something Mac gave me was stolen and he helped me get it back. Ah, and you were grateful? Yes. What was it that uh, Mac gave you? This uh, piece of jewelry or something? No, a sculpture of a red swan. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, that explains why you were so taken with that necklace uh, you found here when you, a couple of days ago. It's a strange piece. It's not at all beautiful. But it was the last gift Mac gave me. I keep wondering what it was he had in mind when he sent it to me. Anyway, it means a lot. If you're trying to make me feel guilty, it's working, believe me. <laughs> Why didn't you just say something when you overheard me at the Power Game Club? Would you have told me the truth? No, you wouldn't have. You know why? Because you're so damn proud. You don't want anyone to know you have a heart. You do. I'm not enough. Why do you hide the good things about you? I have to be private, Fanny. 
I chose to live that way a long, long time ago. You know something? You can be so private that everybody thinks you're into something that you shouldn't be into. Yeah, well, I prove them wrong all the time, don't I? Yes. Why do you want your life so difficult? Because I don't give a damn what anybody in this town thinks of me. Except for you. You're the only one who has that effect on me. Thank you. What did I do? <laughs> Prove to me that you really are the guy that I always knew you were. You're very special. You can walk away, Lucas, and save your precious Felicia forever. Just rid the world of Michael Hudson. It'll be in the Rose Garden, a Pasadena marathon with host Dana Delaney. Get ready for a whole day of secrets, lies, and deception. Miss McAllister. No. The Pasadena Cereal Bowl, Monday, January 2nd, starting at 11, only on SoapNet. In the fight against HIV and AIDS, I've chosen a powerful weapon, my voice. I use it to speak up and speak out, to help fight the spread of ignorance. I use it to engage in conversation and to inspire others. My voice is my weapon, and the more I use it, the more powerful it becomes. Joining the fight against HIV and AIDS is easier than you think. All you have to do is choose your weapon and start using it. Join the fight. Hillshire Farm knows halftime is when the real action kicks off. All the work we do at Hillshire Farm makes Little Smokey's cocktail sausages quick and tasty. No wonder we're America's favorite smoked sausage. The rumor is true. Wait, 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 just one. Rumor has it is outrageously funny. Wow. I know. Ebert and Roper give it two thumbs up. I'm so excited I can scream. Well, go ahead. <laughs> rumor has it. Rated PG-13. Now playing. When you have a gentle laxative you can trust, it's easy to relax. No worrying when, where, or how it will work. Dulcolax tablets are gentle enough for sensitive stomachs, yet strong enough for complete relief. That's why more doctors recommend Dulcolax than any other overnight laxative. So relax. Trust Dulcolax. For gentle overnight relief, guaranteed. Or for relief in minutes, trust Dulcolax suppositories. I wanted floors like no one else had. I wanted the most unique floors in the neighborhood. I'm Bob Vila. To me, a room is more than a place to live. It's an expression of who you are. And nothing makes a room stand out like Bella Wood hardwood floors. Our kids tell everyone who comes over that we have solid Brazilian cherry. Bella Wood floors are 100% solid wood. They're pre-finished and come in over 120 choices. Well, I saw the Australian Cypress and I knew this is it. Bella Wood's finish is three times more durable than other brands and it's backed by a 50-year warranty. 50 years. For the price of laminate floors at the big home center, I got solid Brazilian Brazilian cherry. The price? Over 60% less than home centers. My installer said this is the best wood flooring he's ever used. It went down great. <laughs> the finish is perfect. I was thinking about putting an Oriental rug down on my new floor, but this looks so good, I'm gonna leave it like it is. I like Bella Wood flooring so much, I put it in my own house. Looking for wood floors as unique as you are? Call or click now for a free Bella Wood catalog. Bella Wood. Now on sale at Lumber Liquidators. 
Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a person was stirring, not even a louse. In Pine Valley, Kendall was in for a big surprise when her sister Bianca appeared before her eyes. Then in Landview, Natalie heard a sound on her roof. Down the chimney came her ex, John McBain, with a poof. And in poor Charles, Sonny's enemy wants him dead. But his ex-wife is out to get him back in her bed. Tis the season for hope, love, and good cheer. Happy holidays to all, and to all a great year. I'm Wally Kurth, and I'm hosting a show on SoapNet called One Day. And it goes like this. I follow one actor or actress for one day. I do whatever they want to do. Should we warm up? You want to race? Yeah, let's do it, man. Yeah! I follow from first thing in the morning until... Can I do this again? Well, until they ask me to leave. Yeah, I'm exhausted. You won't believe what you'll see. I want romance, baby. I want romance. One Day with Saturdays at 6.30, only on SoapNet. Soapnet's Afternoon Delight. You ready to ride on this? With guns blazing. Five hours of the most devilish detours, divas, and deja vus ever devoted to one afternoon. Nothing's for free in this life. Get off me. All you want me to do is to work? Stop it, that's enough. Dylan, what if I'm pregnant? I want out, Kimberly. Oh my God, please. I'm in love with someone else. Afternoon Delight, next, only on Soapnet. Hi. You're too late. What? Somebody's already taken him out for pizza, and by oh. the time he gets back, he'll have to go to bed. Oh, I, I'm sorry. Really, I got held up. I, I... Doesn't she even want you to spend time with your son? Oh, come on. Really, Donna, I, I'm sorry. I just... Do you know what it was like sitting here with him waiting for you to show up? But Donna, wait. Just wait a second. Things are changing. Honey, in, in, in a couple of weeks, I can begin to tell you... What's that? None of your business. Wait a minute, that's a strategy for getting to lose. It's my life, Michael. Donna, I told you to stay away from this and guy. And I told you that you have no say in it. No, 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 you listen to me. No, you I... listen to me. I spoke to my divorce lawyer this afternoon, and he told me he felt he could push this thing through very quickly so you can just order your lady friend around and leave me alone. Donna, I'm telling you, that's not what you want. You do not tell me what I want. You chose not to contest this divorce, and since I don't need any money from you, there's no settlement. Obviously, visitation rights aren't important to you. And Cass feels he can finalize this thing quickly. That's exactly what I want. Why? Why? Because our life together is over, Michael. Did it ever occur to you that maybe I would like a little time here? Did it ever occur to you that maybe I've got, you know, just maybe some doubts myself, huh? I'm under a little pressure. Yeah, I might have doubts. Yeah, I've met your lady friend. I can see why. Leave her out of this, would you please? I'd love to. And the sooner I can get this divorce, the sooner I can start forgetting about the both of you. You gotta be kidding. That guy at that crazy shop, he's Ken Jordan? That's what he says. Boy, of all the places for Rachel to get a job at, that's just... It's too much of a coincidence. Did you ask her how she found that place? I asked her. She's not talking to me. She's too mad at me. Mitch. Look, I know, I know. Tell her about the note. I was about to. So what stopped you? Well, she's furious at me now. Do you know what it's going to be like when I tell her that I found the red swan, but I kept the note that was inside? So what? So, you know what kind of person Rachel is? I mean, she's going to end up rushing to, uh, to Jordan's defense, and uh, no matter what I do or what I say, she's going to protect him. Okay, well, did you talk to him? Well, um, yeah, I talked to him. All right, did you ask him about the note? No, no, I asked him how long he had known Mac. Oh, and he said he never heard of the guy, right? Right. Great. You do have a problem. No, Rachel has a problem. I want to help her in some way solve it. How are you and Felicia doing right now? Things are getting better, slowly. In fact, I need to be on my way. Well, I hope you guys patch things up. And you and Amanda? Like I said, looking up. Good. I don't want to lose her, Mitch. Amanda, how'd it go? I can't stay long. All right, all right. Well, let me just hold you for a minute. No, no. Okay, something happened. What did Sam do when you told him? He didn't do anything. What? I lied to him. You did what? Look, he asked me before I even had a chance to bring it up. He asked me flat out if I had slept with you. 
So you told him that you hadn't? Yes. Why? Because it's over, that's why. What is over? You and me. Wait, Amanda, it you It just... shouldn't have happened. As far as I'm concerned, it didn't. Just calm down. What did he say to you? What did he do? Nothing. This is my decision. Sam's moving back into the house. I can never be with you again. Dynasty is next, followed by Dallas. Then it's big hair and even bigger drama. Desperate Housewives Nicolette Sheridan stars in Paper Dolls. Meet the women who first put sex in the city. When a lady has a hot tub in her bedroom, it is not Mother Teresa's apartment. Morgan Fairchild, Mimi Rogers, Lauren Hutton, and Desperate Housewives Nicolette Sheridan. I know you care about me. <gasps> star in Paper Dolls, today at 4, only on SoapNet. That. It's the Army Reserve. It's the Army. No. I can still go to college. It's the Army. I'm gonna be part of something that's important. And it's the Reserve, so they'll train me around here until they need me. Good training. It's the Army. of the original ranch, things seem a little more like the way they're supposed to be. Hidden Valley Ranch, the way ranch is supposed to taste. There are up to 7 million people with psoriasis, but sometimes I feel like I'm the only one. Luckily, I discovered psoriasis connections. Now I know I'm not the only one who wears long sleeves in August. I'm not the only one who craves information. Psoriasis Connections is a free magazine and web program that connects you to a whole world of psoriasis experts, information, and other people who know exactly what you're going through. They answered my question about whether I could pass this on to my kids. I like the lady who found relief sunbathing at a Dead Sea spa. I liked the dad who told how he helped his family cope with his disease. Best of all, Psoriasis Connections can keep you up to date on current treatment options, so sign up now. Visit our website or call 1-800-355-0152. 1-800-355-0152. With psoriasis, like anything else, it's good to have connections. Psoriasis Connections. Anybody ever figure out why the swan was stolen? Oh, there were a rash of burglaries. My uh, husband's daughter had a Winslow Homer taken, and a neighbor had a Ming vase taken. Pricey stuff. Yes. But the cops never nabbed the guy who took the swan. Oh, I never pressed it. I was so relieved to get it back. Yeah, how'd your friend Mitch manage that? A series of coincidences. I didn't think I'd ever see the piece again. You say you don't like it that much? As a piece of artwork, it would be nothing that Mac and I usually would have collected. But once I found out the legend behind the piece, it's become a favorite. Think Mac knew about this legend, too? I don't think I'll ever know that. I did have a feeling he was trying to tell me something when he sent it to me. Did you bring it with you? Here? No. Why not? Oh, it's cumbersome anyway. It's safer at home. Why don't you bring it in sometime? I'd like to take a look at it. You're an expert on swans and art now, right? Oh, I just know a lot about artwork. I'd be interested in seeing something that means so much to you. Why? I've, you're the best assistant I've ever had. I'm the only assistant you ever had. Can I see it? Maybe I could tell you something more about it. Sure, why not? Why should I put off the divorce? Because things are changing. How? I can't tell you that. I can't tell you for two weeks. Two weeks. I know it sounds stupid, but yeah. 
Michael, by that time, I hope I'll be free of you. Oh, don't do that, please. That would be a big mistake, Donna. For you or me? For both of us. Oh, I get it. I get it. No, I really don't think you do. No, I think I do. You and Miss Glacier are having problems. Oh, come on, that's not it. Home and Hearth and the little woman are looking very attractive to you. All right, if ever our marriage meant anything to you at all, please, just give me two weeks. Wait two weeks for the divorce. But you can't tell me why. No. Michael, you told me that you didn't love me anymore. You left me for another woman. I think it's a little late to be asking me for acts of faith. All right, all right, all right. Then what about Mikey? What about our son? I mean, how could you do this to him? If you were so concerned about him, you would have shown up when you promised. Do you know what it was like for me to hold a sobbing child in my arms who thought that his father didn't love him anymore? I do love him. I do. I just... Oh, God. Just what? I'm going to try to explain it to him, all right? When's he going to be home? I hope you'll be more convincing with okay, him than you are with me. Okay, what you had to eat, you dummy up about the ice cream, all right? Jake. I don't believe this. You're going to have to. Oh, Amanda, you just came over here a couple hours ago, and you told me that you wanted me. I shouldn't have. So you're going back to Sam? Why? Because I couldn't do it, okay? I couldn't walk in and say, honey, I slept with Evan. Everything that you and I have is, is over. So you're condemning yourself to a life with Sam? It's not a condemnation. Isn't it? I'm married to him. I love him. Oh, I see. It's okay to hurt me, huh? I never meant to do that. Don't you understand? He is the father of my child. Well, if he meant so much to you, Amanda, why did you even make love to me? Because maybe I'm just a slut. Did you ever think of that? Don't you ever say that about yourself, Amanda. Or about us. Not to me. Fine, then I'll pretty it up a little bit. I'll say I made a mistake. It's not a mistake. It is a mistake. It's the biggest one of my life. If you care about me at all, will you try to understand what Allie and Sam mean to me? They're a part of me. I would be miserable without them. But you don't have to lose Allie. Oh, I see. So you don't just want Sam's wife. You want his child, too. Amanda, you tried to forget about me once before, and you couldn't do it. You really think it's going to be any easier now? I don't know anything about the future anymore. I just know about right now. I have to say goodbye. Okay, fine. Then you go home. And I hope your life is just as storybook perfect as you want it to be. It's not going to be storybook perfect. I fixed that. That's right. Because I'm in your blood. And I know what you need, Amanda. And you know that. Amanda! Don't you think that I'm going to be here waiting for you when you figure out that you've made the wrong choice? Net original that puts the stars in the hot seat. Unpredictable, unbeatable, and sometimes unbelievable. Lisa Rinna and Ty Treadway dish with the celebs on the Emmy-nominated Soap Talk. Tonight at 11 on Soapnet.